This isn't Afghanistan. This isn't Syria. This is the streets of Cleveland. A neighborhood under siege, yet another brazen shootout on Cleveland's east side. Now, one city councilman says enough is enough. Yeah, he wants the mayor to send in reinforcements. News 5's Jordan Vandenberg live for us from City Hall. And Jordan, what do people who live in his district think about all this? Well, many of the people that we talked to today say they welcome the idea because, frankly, they are tired of living in fear. Tuesday, 5 p.m., a wave of violence came crashing down at an east side gas station. It's the Wild West. If it is indeed the Wild Wild West, Councilman Mike Polensic wants the mayor to send in the cavalry. I will tell you this, it is what it is ain't working anymore. I want to say that again, it is what it is ain't working no more. That might hold truth in some neighborhood, but in mine it isn't. Polensic hand delivered this three page letter to the mayor. In that letter, the longtime councilman implores the mayor to request state troopers that could supplement city officers in the 5th district. The stern request follows Tuesday's skirmish at a gas station near 156th and Waterloo. More than a half dozen people were involved, Polensic says. All of them had weapons. One had a high powered rifle. A seven year old girl was narrowly grazed. Just look at what's taking place here across our city tells me very clearly that the Cleveland Police Department, as much as they've tried, cannot get a handle on this problem because they are they are woefully understaffed. The police probably have their hands tied, you know, with all the other work that they're doing accordingly and so they don't have enough help. So the idea is bring in more help and I, I think that's a step in the right direction. This man grew up in the neighborhood, fearing retribution. He didn't want his face shown. He's been the victim of multiple burglaries. He says for him, fear is a common feeling. But you worry about your children, your family, your friends won't come into the neighborhood. My family, a lot of them won't come into the neighborhood. Polensic believes the state troopers could help free up city officers who then could proactively patrol certain areas. I grew up in Cleveland. What is taking place on our streets is unacceptable. And the city just wrapped up a massive recruitment blitz of hope, in hopes of hiring 250 new police officers. And the mayor's office says there were 741 applications through the end of November, and that exceeded their goal of 740 applications. But those new hires will not hit the streets until well into the new year. And we reached out to the mayor's office for comment on what Polensic said today, and we have not heard back. Live downtown, Jordan Vandenberg, News 5.